let's talk composting. Now, my favorite part of composting, this is gonna sound really weird, is the bugs. A lot of people really enjoy earthworms in their compost. That's not my thing. I have never really done the whole earthworm and compost thing. I never really been a fan of the whole earthworm thing. I, you know, obviously I have earthworms everywhere. I have no problem with them. My thing. Black soldier fly larvae. These guys are so cool. And I just ordered them. They came today. I'm going to show you guys what they are all about. All right, so. Got my box here. Open these bad boys up. I order them every year from Flukers. Um, so every winter they go dormant in my compost. Um, so they are pretty hardy. Um, under 20 degrees, they are susceptible to actually dying. Um, generally they will just go dormant and come back. I do have some of them come back every year, but not in the numbers that I want. So I do tend to just order more just so that they can kind of start going to town on my compost. Because what these guys do is their numbers, you put like a couple hundred in your compost and they will just multiply. And now when I say you put them in your compost and they take over, they eat everything. So you can put meat in your compost, you can put oil in your compost, you can put the dairy and cheese in your compost that you wouldn't generally put in your compost. You know what else I can put in my compost that these guys go to town on? You can put the um, like the, the plastic bags, like the recyclable plastic bag, or sorry not recyclable, but the uh, compostable plastic bags and forks and spoons. These dudes break it down. I kid you not. These are these guys are so cool. Like I put compost in, and it is gone within the week. And then I have this glorious dirt that I can throw in my garden. I love it. So, all right. So I ordered two thousand of these dudes. They're my favorite. So the other really cool thing about these, if you haven't looked into them, is once they turn into flies, the flies have no mouths. They aren't a pest like regular black house flies. So they're not gonna get into your house and start you know, pooping on everything and eating things and just being overall a nuisance. What they're gonna do is they're just gonna crawl around and they're gonna find like a flower and they're gonna suck the nectar and they're just gonna be cool little guys and then they're gonna die. Um, they're not gonna just get in your house and be a pain. So I really like them for that. Um, also, let me get them out of here. Actually, let me just show you. Because you guys really just got to see these guys. Also, what I was saying, what I was going to say before is that, um, back to the winter thing. I, this year, um, I think this is going to be my last year ordering them because I was talking to Jake last night. Um, we are actually going to build a system to keep them alive over winter where I bring them inside. Um, they are several systems you can build at home to keep them inside over winter where there's a tub, you put the black soldier larva in, there's a tube where they crawl up and then they fall in with a plant so that the flies can kind of stay in their own little system. That way they can lay their eggs and then you get more larvae, the larvae crawl back into the tub. Um, so it's like a system that's ongoing. So that way at the end of the winter, I can just throw them back in my compost. I don't have to order more. So yeah, let's throw you guys. This guy's so cool. Ah. All right. Also, 
they're not like maggots where they're like slimy and gross. Like these guys are really cool. <laughs> Alright. I know I'm so gross. I'm sorry. Alright, so these guys are just in like little dirt. They're really cool. Let me focus on my hand here. I don't know if I can focus on it. Alright, so there's these guys just crawling around. Look at them, they're so cool. Ah, they're so cool. I'm losing some. These guys are so neat. And the other really great thing about these guys, I lost a couple, you guys get back in the cup. Okay, so the other really, really cool thing about these guys is they are an awesome, awesome, awesome source of protein. Not just for humans, but for chickens. So, I should have said that backwards. Not just for chickens, but for humans. <laughs> um, so people actually dry these out and give them to their chickens. So they take the larvae and because they multiply so fast, I have chicken treats for days. They actually sell these in the store, really expensive per bag. Um, Cause they, you know, like they sell dried mealworms. These are so much easier to raise than mealworms. They're less of a pain to raise because you just throw them in your compost and you're done. Mealworms. I had a mealworm farm. I still do, actually. I have a bin in my greenhouse um, of the mealworms. And my chameleons died like two years ago. And I still have the mealworm farm. I, there's just a carrot in the bin. And they've just been eating each other and just living. I don't, I don't know what they're doing. The carrot's just growing in there. And they're eating that and eating each other. And dying and then eating each other and dying and eating each other. They're like a cannibalist mealworm farm going on I don't know um, <laughs> but but the these guys they'll just keep going and going and going and going and you'll have millions and you can feed your chickens really 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 good protein source so if you have chickens I highly recommend getting these my girls will stand on the outside of my compost bin which it's right behind me and they will just eat these guys and they'll see the flies come out and the flies will crawl out and the girls will just grab them um so I recommend these if you have chickens um the other thing you can do is you can take them and dry them the other thing as you heard me mention the thing I mentioned backwards if you are in a bit of a bind or if you just want to try them like you know people people eat crickets um I have not personally tried them but if we were in an apocalypse and if there were a food shortage um I am a pescatarian so I don't really eat meat I do eat chicken sometimes um but these are a fantastic source of protein vitamins all kinds of things so these can keep you going um if you are you know going somewhere and you want to dry some of these out and make some snacks black soldier fly larvae it'd be great you can make yourself little black soldier fly treats um anyways i will throw these in the compost and show you guys all right so here we have the inside of my compost do you see there's a lot of bananas? We do not eat that much bananas. There's a local smoothie and vegan restaurant near us. Um, they get about 40 pounds of banana peels every couple days. And they actually donate them to the community garden. However, in the last batch, there were a ton of banana peel uh, labels on them. And we couldn't put them in the community garden compost, but we knew that I was going to be getting black soldier fly larvae in and we knew that they would eat them. So we decided to just take them here and put them in the compost here. Um, so my compost is filled with a lot of bananas, some old red cucumbers, you know, I'm nice and gross and I'll touch this because I don't care. Um, but there's some old lettuce that got stuck at the back of my fridge and anything that goes to the back of my fridge freezes because my fridge has some uneven problems. So that stuff always makes it into the compost. Um, so let's get some of these guys in here. This was a second compost system. I actually just pulled it off a minute ago. 
Um, this is all fresh, nice composted soil that came out of the bottom of it. This is all from the black soldier flies last year. Uh, it's all very, very good composted soil. Um, so yeah, so I just pulled that out of there, um, dumped the whole thing. So I could add a little bit into here just to cover the bananas, just to give the black soldier flies something to just kind of start with. But yeah, let's get these guys going. I'm just gonna put them all right on top. They're very quick. They will get moving right away. Even with the freeze tonight, they will be fine. They will just kind of go right on in. Look at these guys. Ooh, they're so cool. Look at them wriggling, wriggling, wriggling. They're getting right to work. I love these dudes. They're so cool. Big cluster of them. Get a nice close up there. This is what they like. These are the large ones you can order. You can get them a lot smaller, so it'll take them a little more time to grow. Um, but yeah, these guys are already going to work on this banana peel. They were hungry. Looky, looky. Here, let me throw some back to the other side. Where's that knife? Oh, no, I left my knife over there. Here, let me use my finger now. Ugh, it doesn't work. Okay. Okay. Got a second container. I ordered four containers, so. Oh, these guys are hungry too. Let's give them the lettuce. Oh, yes. They're hungry. So hungry. Get out of that cup. Mmm. So hungry. Okay. I'll dump the other ones in in just a bit. I'm gonna let these guys get to work. These are gonna be some happy worms. In a few minutes, they will all be completely immersed in their eating. I'll cover them up, let them do their thing. There's a couple earthworms in here too. There's this guy, he's happy. He's just doing his thing. I'm bugging him now. He's squirm, squirm. Squirmy, wormy, there's another guy. Hello, oh, he's, he's a cut worm. I must have cut him with my shovel, possibly. Oh, wait, there's another guy, no. Ooh, this guy's lying. Eee. Wee, hello. But yeah, this is my favorite thing about composting. I am a complete weirdo in the middle of the summer when there's like a million in here. I will come out here and I will literally open the compost and it is like Rice Krispie Treat cereal. Like, or <laughs> Rice Krispie cereal. I always call it Rice Krispie Treat cereal. I will like stick my head in the compost bin. <laughs> <laughs> and I will like stick my head in there and be like are you guys doing your job I'm listening and then I'll just hear like and I'll just listen to them and like Jake will come out here and be like what are you doing and I'm like I'm listening to my buddies I'm making sure they're working and then I'll just sit here and you'll just hear and you just know they're working and it is the coolest thing. Or I'll just come here and I'll like pick some up and I'm like, they're so cool. And the funniest thing is when I have friends that get into composting and I go to like their house, I'll literally show up with like a jar of worms and be like, do you want some of my buddies? It's, it's really weird, I know, but I get really excited about these guys. They're really cool and I'll talk to people about them all day and I mean, this video needs to stop because I could go on about these guys. They're really cool. And like, if you look them up online, there's a whole bunch of sites, like hundreds of facts you don't know about black soldier larvae or hundreds of facts you don't know about black soldier flies. It's really cool. If you have the time, you should look them up. They're fascinating bugs, I promise you. But okay, I'm done. My video is done. Have a great day.